yeah, this could go wrong. I have an idea. It could either look really cool or it could ruin this because I won't be able to vibe that, but that's fine. This entire series is basically centered around the idea of failure. Your best qualities make you, but so do your worst or just ones you don't like. Like, they're always gonna be a part of you. And even if they themselves suck, they make you who you are and that should be worth celebrating. Yeah, it's not just yeah. cool, I feel like it's important too. Which is why I think I am this motivated to paint this series, hopefully. I don't leave space usually, maybe I should this time. Like the background, so I don't want to do the rest of the face. I feel like that's a good decision. Basically, underneath this, there was a different piece earlier, which I made during a different time where I really wanted to be able to start selling my art. And without realizing it, I was just like not thinking about what I actually wanted. And I was just, you know, not making stuff that I knew I liked and it's not the easiest thing to get approval from you know the world in general when you kind of make creepy paintings I'm just marking tones right now with this but I actually might end up using this color and I was not the colors I was gonna go for originally but she kind of don't mind it. It's nice. No, I shouldn't. I should make more sense out of this. Let's make it a little more complete. Yeah, so first piece I was like, I don't want to cover up the part I like, and so I left it. And what I could have done is just planned it better, placed it better. And a normal person would not make the same mistake and here I am gonna get rid of the bit I like the most, the first. 
which is fun. I'm so smart. <laughs> okay. I think it's creepy and weird. And my dada used to say, like, so he'd visit us from time to time, and you know, he'd say obviously all things that you know grandparents say. And then he'd say, "Baki sab theek hai, daravni paintings kam banaya kar." the next morning to see how i actually feel about a piece so i can look at it with a fresh perspective and i woke up and i realized i hate this i think it happened because i've been worrying about making it look good which is the problem i had in the first place I can feel you when you lose control. We be walking on the water. We move in in a technicolor beat. Move in in a technicolor. Jump into the heat. Falling on the sea. Spinning on the field in a technicolor beat. I felt like art had to have some function, you know. Like media and movies can leave you with a perspective, change your mind. If I don't plan, think through my pieces, I'm not delivering a clear narrative, and therefore it is not functional, and therefore it is not worth sharing. And that was, yeah, that really held me back. and that's when i realized like it's okay if my art sucks it can be bad it's allowed to be bad it's when you you know are terrible for so long when you that's when good ha- things happen yeah and this might not be functional this not i don't know if it's meaningful but i think first you have to fill your own cup you can't fill somebody else's if you fill your own so it has to have meaning to me first i have to love it first it doesn't matter if ten other people think that it's not going to let them sleep at night my sister is one of them she lives with me and she has to see this but <laughs> yeah hopefully some day it will make some sense to somebody but yeah right now it's important because it's been beautiful to me so it's still art I mean it, it is still 